Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and I trust your seatbelt is fastened because you need to be buckled in for all of the changes that are occurring in science education today. One of those changes involves engineering. You're going to be elevating engineering to the same status as physical science, the earth and space sciences, and life science. So get ready. One great way of introducing engineering into the classroom is by offering the students activities. And I have a great activity for you right now. It's all about building a water wheel. Now students first need to think about what their water wheel might look like. Perhaps they'll sketch a drawing. Once they have a design which they like, then they can go and build it test it, re-engineer it, and so far. But now, what I want to look at specifically is building that water wheel. Okay, what will you need? The materials involve pasta. And I'm going to use this type of wagon wheel pasta as the hub on which the water wheel will rotate. Also, I've got pieces of linguine. We'll be using this pasta as the paddles, but make sure you offer the students an assortment of different pasta types. You want them to be creative, so let them select from the materials, let them try it, evaluate, and re-engineer as needed. All right, you'll also need something to stick that pasta paddle onto the pasta wheel, and what I have here is waterproof clay. Works great, inexpensive. The axle on which the water wheel will spin is this a paper clip. We'll also need a structure on which to construct that water wheel. We'll pick this cup here. Naturally, we'll need some water in a container, and since we're using water, it can get messy, so make sure you have a sponge. Okay, the first thing that students need to do is to build their axle. So they'll take their paper clip and unbend it into a straight brad of wire. And you'll notice that the paper clip, once it's fairly straight, there it is, will span the mouth of that cup. So we'll later on hook it up to the lip of that cup on either side, just like that. Now I mentioned that we'll be using this piece of pasta as the hub. Let's place it in the axle and Look at that. You can see it's spinning freely right there. Perfect. Now, let's get back to our building. Once your students are pleased with the wheel that they have engineered, it's time to move on. Next step is to develop a system that will support that wheel. And what I've done with my paper clip here is place several bends in it. These two downward facing bends at either end will help lock that paper clip into holes that I've punched into the paper cup. Now this bend down here on the bottom is for keeping the wheel in place. Watch. So when the wheel sits in there as it spins, it won't drift from side to side, but that is my solution. What solution will your students come up with? Well, you're gonna find out, and let's take a look and see how the system works for me here. As we pour water onto the wheels, watch what happens. Success. Wow, that is great. Now, it's up for you and your students to engineer your own water wheels, and in doing so, engage in that engineering design process.